Hey guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my beach haul. Now, I'm calling this my pre-vacation beach haul because what I'm sharing with you are the items that I have purchased to use on vacation. So, I just thought this was a good idea to share in case anybody else is going to stay at the beach for a week or if you're going to stay, even if you're going to, you know, some kind of ski resort or something, you may want to invest in some of the things that I have here. Now, we are going to the same place that we did last year, and we're staying at the same house that we did last year because we had such a fantastic time. We liked where we stayed. It fit all of us well, so we decided to do it again. Last, we've had this booked since last fall, so it was such a great week, so we're hoping to have a great week this time as well. So I have six things to share with you today and I wrote them down. Every time I would purchase something, I would write it down to share with you guys because I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget something. So we are going to jump right on into it and I'm going to share some things that are too big to share on camera. So let's, let's do those first. So the first thing is a folding chair. Now, and I'm gonna scoop over here so that I can pop the pictures up right here. So, last summer when we went to the beach, I would say that I was a little bit unprepared because this is the first time that I had ever been to a beach house and spent a week on the beach. So I didn't know exactly what to purchase and what to bring. Well, the first thing that I realized was I probably should have brought a folding chair. And the folding chair that I had out in my garage, I've had for probably 12, 13 years, and it's getting to where I think it like was dry rotting. So I invested in a new chair. And I decided to go with, oh, is it the Magellan, I think? It's from Academy. It is the director's chair, and I'm popping up a picture here. And the reason why I decided to purchase this one over something else this one was 29 I think it was 95 and then I got free shipping on it. And they had, I want to say six different colors. You could have got tan, camo, blue, red, taupe. Did I say taupe? No, I said tan. And I think there was one other color. So I think it was five colors. And I decided to go with the blue one. Um... And the reason why I got this one over just a regular folding chair that doesn't have the side table, because I wanted the side table. I wanted a table to be able to sit my snacks on and sit a drink on and not have to stick it in the sand. So that's why I invested in that one. And then my husband also got the same chair in the tan color. So it seems to be very good quality. It comes highly recommended if you check the Academy site. It's got almost five out of five stars so i'm very excited to use that and the quality looks to be top notch too now the second thing that i purchased that i can't share right now is a beach wagon now we looked at tons of different beach wagons there are so many different ones that you can purchase and we decided to go with the one on my pop up here we purchased it off of amazon for 85 dollars and the reason why we went with that one is because my brother-in-law had one that looked exactly the same. And my husband liked the fact that the wheels are huge and they're plastic. They're not the traditional tire um, material. They're huge. I mean, they're very big, the wheels are. And he liked the fact that the back wheels were spaced out, but the front wheels were together. So my husband liked that. It was pretty easy to pull in the sand. And a lot of the reviews that I checked out, they said, this is, a, they would say, this is a great wagon, but it's not made for the beach. It is very hard to pull in sand. So we liked the one that my brother-in-law had last year. So we decided to purchase the same one that he had. Now, you're probably wondering, why do you need a second beach wagon? Well, this vacation is going to be my sister and her family. So my sister, brother, and brother-in-law, and my nephew. And then my family, we have four. My sister-in-law and my mom. So that's a lot of people just to have one beach wagon. So we wanted to have one as well. So we could have two to pull everything and it's just less things that you have to carry to the beach. 
Okay, the third thing that I purchased is one that I want to say probably the next three that I've already mentioned in some form on a video. Now, when I went to the beach last year, before I show you the product, before when I went to the beach last year, I had my gigantic Vera Bradley Grand Traveler tote. I had all of my beauty items in that bag. And I'm trying to downsize a little bit. I'm like, I really don't need to take that gigantic bag. I think I use just about everything in there, but there is, there's got to be a way that I can be smart about this and travel lighter. So after searching on the internet, I decided to go with an Everything Mary. Did I write it down? This is a crafting tote too. It is an Everything Mary Deluxe paper craft organizer and this is what it looks like y'all this is made for crafting supplies i purchased this off of amazon and the reason i got this off of amazon instead of some other site like joanne i want to say walmart even sells this brand is because it was half the price at the time on amazon so after looking around normally these go for roughly 30 dollars and i got this one for 17.99 so it has a ton of pockets look at the divided compartments on the top i thought that was wonderful so places for my shampoo and conditioner my flat iron my blow dryer it's got these very sturdy handles it's got two side pockets here, uh, a little double pocket over here with a little flap here. So I'm thinking this would be good for like hair ties and things. These are going to be perfect for my makeup brushes. You've got this gigantic little zipper compartment on the back. And you can see I haven't even taken out the stuffing yet on that one. Gigantic here. Then you have this right here. I want to say it's magnetic. Oh, no, it's Velcro. So this Velcro little pocket here. So when I was looking, I was like, you know what? That is going to be perfect. All the compartments on the side. It's got the, the, it's got the divided pockets in the middle. This should be perfect for me to carry. And it's got very sturdy straps on the top. So, I will be doing a video. I can't, I, I might actually film the video before I leave. I want to film a video on how I got all of my beauty items in this for vacation. So, I plan on doing two videos over my vacation travel because last year I covered several different videos over me traveling from my luggage to my beauty and cosmetics to my planner bag. So, this year I'm just going to do two. I'm going to share this one how I've got this all organized because it's different from last year. And then I will share with you how I have my planner bag set up and what I carried on vacation. Okay, now the fourth thing that I purchased for vacation was one of those just purchased on a whim type of things. And before I show it to you, let me, let me share where it all started. Okay, so I was looking on the Erin Condren website. No, I'm not sharing an Erin Condren product. I was looking on the website and I noticed their lunch totes and I'm like, oh, lunch. I wonder if I need one of those. I could take that to vacation and put some snacks in it to take to the beach. So I got on the We Love EC Facebook group and I asked, do you have the Erin Condren lunch tote? If you do, what's your opinions? And I would say most people that commented said it was extremely too small for the price. So the Erin Condren tote is, I think, $25. So I'm like, ooh. That's a lot of money to spend on something that may be too small for my liking. So I got on Amazon and I looked up neoprene lunch tote. So I wanted the same exact thing, but not the same exact price. So I ran into this built gourmet getaway mini snack tote. And I want to say it's roughly the same size as the Erin Condren lunch tote. I don't know if you can see this. It might be too light color. I don't know if you can see it. It is the almost, I want to say, same exact size as the Erin Condren lunch tote, but I got this one for $7. So I thought, you know what? $7 versus $25, I can do the $7. I was like, I love the polka dotted print too. So it has, 
it can see it's folded right now so you can pop it open like so and it's blue on the inside it's the neoprene stretchy fabric can, so it can stretch out it's got blue inside it's got this zipper here i don't really know if i'm going to use the zipper so it's got a zipper that works very well and it said it's an insulated snack tote anything else oh that's all it says insulated snack tote so all I really want this little tote to be able to carry is some snacks. So I would like some granola bars or some fruit to go to the beach. Because last year, I don't think I had any type of something to carry any type of snacks in. So this should be able to hold my snacks and my kids' snacks in this little thing. So for $7, I thought that was an excellent deal. And this is not the only print that they have in this. So make sure all the products that I mentioned today will be in the description below. So check those out if you want to purchase anything that I'm mentioning. They had this in several different prints as well. Last summer when we were on vacation, my sister-in-law had this cool little case, little zipper pouch that she stuck her cell phone in and she was able to go out in the ocean with us and take pictures with her cell phone. I had never seen a product like that before. So I decided to look it up on the internet and I purchased one off of Amazon. And she actually, she texted me, she lost the original one that she got so she couldn't remember what it was or where she got it or anything like that. But she actually found one at Walmart as well in case you want to check out Walmart to see if they have one of those. But I got, and then my sister got the same one from Amazon. It's, I don't know if they call it the Jodo or Jotto or... And this is what it looks like when you purchase it. This was $5.99. It says... Um, Oh, I thought it would say something about the product, but all it says is a variety of products to meet your individual aesthetic and functional requirements. Let's see. I haven't opened it yet. I just, I got it in the mail and sat it aside so I could share it with you guys first. Oh, something fell out. Oh, it has a little strap with it too. How awesome is that? Let's pop this open too. I feel like this is an unboxing because I'm there. Oh yeah, this is neat. I love lanyards. Let me tell you, I have my keys on a lanyard and it's so awesome to go to the grocery store and just put your keys over your neck and not have to worry about it. So what you do is it's got this little clamp thing up here and you just feed this through and you can wear it around your neck. Very cool. So it says this is a waterproof case here and you can pop open the top and stick your cell phone in it. And it said to read carefully of the notice before you use and this is the picture on the back if you can kind of see so it tells you how to put it together and how you can wear it around your neck but i thought this was excellent to have now the only thing is when i take this to the beach i'm gonna have to take my cell phone out of my otter box which i never do my otter box stays on my cell phone at all times to put it in this case and i will tell you in case you have a question my sister has a, I want to think, say she's got a 7 Plus iPhone. And she told me last night that her iPhone did fit in this case. So she just had to make sure she took her life proof case off of her cell phone. So if you're going to the beach, I highly recommend one of these. Especially if you want to take something like ocean pictures or you're scared about getting water in your cell phone. Last but not least is a new backpack. Now last year... I carried my La Sport Sack everyday backpack, but it was a tad bit small to carry things in to go on an outing. So I would have things that I kept in the car and then I would have things I kept in my backpack. So I decided to invest in a bigger La Sport Sack backpack. And y'all, I looked at several different brands. I think Jen from Pretty Neat Living had mentioned a backpack that she purchased that she really liked i thought about getting that one and i looked at some others and i just had to go back to the little sport sack because i love the brand very durable fabric very lightweight now here's the thing with little sport sack i will say their products tend to run very high so i did not pay full price for either one of the items that i have from that company now i will tell you I'll show you too. I ended up getting the Voyager backpack. 
Now this was, this is the, does it say on the tag? This is the Le Sport Sac, I want to say Black Stripe. This is the one I got my sister, the sister, I got my sister-in-law the mini backpack for Christmas two years ago. And I didn't get myself one. That's where all of this started. She needed a little backpack to carry to and from. And I could tell hers was not looking so hot anymore. So, Zulily had it for a very good price. So, I purchased it. And I could have kicked myself because I did not purchase myself one. And I loved the stripes. I, all the bright colors in the stripe pattern. And here's another thing with me. I love the color white. But very seldom will I get something in white because it gets so dirty. So the fact that this was a dark color, but it had bright colors within it, I really like that. So I was very upset that I could not get myself that backpack. I searched all over the place and could not find one. That's how I ended up with my everyday backpack. And when I was looking, Shoebuy, which is now Shoes, Shoebuy has changed their site to be named Shoes, had this backpack. It is normally $118. Yes, I would not pay that much for a backpack or this backpack. I got this one for like $55. So it was on sale. It was like deeply discounted. I want to say it was outlet price because I want to say that this print is no longer. So, and then I got to use an additional 25 or 30% off. So I paid roughly $55 with free shipping for this bag. Such a steal. So, it is bigger than my other backpack. So, it's got the little drawstring here, which I hope I like because I'm not really, I've never been into the drawstring thing. And this is what the inside looks like. And y'all look, look the little mesh pockets on the side. So, this backpack is made for traveling, which is probably why it's called the Voyager. So, it's very large on the inside. You could probably fit a beach tote and several other things. It's got mesh pockets on the side. It's got a pocket on the other side and then a little zippered compartment on top of that one. Then it has all of these compartments on the front. It's got one, two side pockets that you can pop open and put things in and clamp them shut. And then in the center, if I can shut it, there we go. And then in the center, let me open it up, it's got a zippered pocket. So it's got a nice zipper pocket on the front. So it's got three outside pockets. It's got the big main compartment. And then take a look at the straps. So the straps, if you see, they are double type of fabric. So you have the fabric of the backpack if it will zoom in. It's got the fabric of the backpack and then on top of it, it's got an additional layer of more durable type of fabric, like a handle type of fabric. I love it when backpacks come with this little loop at the top because I do store mine that way. So you guys, I cannot wait to use this backpack on vacation. I think it is very roomy and has a ton of extra compartments. And you guys, that is all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing all of the items that I purchased and I will be using on my next vacation in the next couple of weeks. I would love it in the comments below if you would share with me some of the recommended products that you have when you take a vacation. I'm always looking for new ways to organize when traveling. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you all have a fantastic week and until next time, Bye, you guys.